Hi guys. This is a 60 minute hot series class. As always, please remember to listen to your body before you listen to me. You don't have to do anything I tell you to do. Please modify as you need. Take rests as you need. Get drinks of water as you need. I will be calling out certain drink uh, breaks. But um, here we go. By the way, I'm Heather Cox. This is the 60 minute hot series. So here we go. We always start with the hot series standing, big toes to touch. Take a couple exhales. Take an inhale. Exhale. Letting the mind and body know it's time to do yoga. One more inhale. Exhale. Feel your feet connecting to the earth, like there's super glue under your feet. Shoulders soft, jaw soft. Preparing for pranayama breathing. Interlace the fingers, bringing the knuckles under the chin, elbows close together. Exhale. Good. Then inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look up, exhale through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look forward, inhale through the nose, lifting the elbows up. Look up, exhale through the mouth. Look forward, inhale. Keep the shoulders soft, keep the feet connected. Look up, exhale. Good, one more, inhale. Keep the feet connected, shoulders soft, breathing in through the nose, lifting the elbows up. Look up, exhale through the mouth. Good, then release the arms, wiggle it out a little bit. All right. And then we move to the uh, second set. Opposite interlace of the fingers, knuckles under the chin. Opposite interlace, here we go. Exhale. And then inhale through the nose. Lifting the elbows up, pressing the feet into the earth. Look up, exhale through the mouth. Look forward, inhale. Feel the ribs expanding. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And then release the arms. Wiggle it out a little bit. Release the neck. Open and close the jaw. And then arms along the side of the body, or hands to the heart. Just find some stillness here. Feeling the feet walk to the earth. Feel the legs engaging, the spine growing, belly engaged, shoulders soft. And begin to breathe in and out through the nose. And ask yourself, what is your intention for your practice today? What are you asking from the yummy yoga magic? What is it that you'd like to receive? What would you like to create? What would you like to give? And then just say that intention in your mind. Then gently open the eyes, preparing for half moon. Inhale the arms above the head. 
interlace the fingers, let the index fingers come out. And then we're gonna just move around here, wiggling side to side, maybe forward and back. There's no rules here if you wanna release your hands and pull and just open things up, pedal things out, go for it. <clears throat> Moving into your body where it feels tight, where it feels there's excess energy, where it feels sluggish. And then we'll meet standing, index fingers to the sky. Soften the shoulders, soften the jaw, bring the arms a little bit closer to the backs of the ears, draw the ribs in, inhale. Exhale, hinge to the right, half moon here. And breathe, try to keep the chin lifted. Keep the left foot planted. Breathe in and out through the nose. Feeling the whole left side of the body opening up as you lift and hinge. We have 10 seconds here. Maybe squeeze with the left, the right hand and pull on the left, but be gentle. We're just still opening up here. Then squeeze the core, inhale back to center. Soften, you can bend your elbows a little bit if you want to. Inhale and exhale, hinge to the left. Keeping both feet planted, feeling the right side opening up. Keep the lower belly lifted, arms close to the backs of the ears, but the shoulders are soft. And breathe in and out through the nose. Finding length in the body and hinging over. 10 seconds, maybe squeeze the left hand on your right and pull and go just a little bit deeper. Then squeeze your core and inhale back to center and then look up and trace your fingers across the ceiling as you lift and open your heart and exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Keep pressing the heels down. <sighs> Crown of the head pointing to the back of the room. <sighs> Inhale back to center and fold, fold, fold. Eventually hands come down to the earth. Bend the knees as much as you need to to get your hands to the earth. Pedal it out a little bit. Bend one knee, bend the other, just feeling the hamstrings. Feeling the lower back opening up. And then we move into a deep forward fold. So bend the knees as much as you need to, to find length in your spine and then let your torso lie down over your thighs. You can bring hands to opposite elbows like a rag doll here. You can bring your hands and forearms behind your calves, or you can do the traditional cupping of the heels underneath. We're doing two sets of this, so you might want to wait for the second set to go that deep. Now shake the head yes and no. Relaxing the neck so you can feel how heavy the head is. With each exhale, bring the belly button to the spine and release the head some more. With each inhale, maybe lift the hips up a bit. Five more seconds here. Release the hands, interlace the fingers with that steeple grip, press your feet into the earth. Inhale, come all the way back up and release. Arms come along the side of the body. <sighs> Let that go. Let it drain into the feet. Feel all those poses swirling through the body. Second set. Inhale, the arms above the head. Opposite interlace of the fingers. So you automatically do one way, do it the other way. And let the index fingers come out. Press both feet. Inhale, be tall. Exhale, hinge to the right. Both feet planted, shoulders soft. Keep the heart open. Breathe. Maybe go a little deeper this time. Maybe squeeze the right hand on the left hand and pull as you lift and go a little bit deeper. Five seconds, keep the left foot planted. Squeeze the core, inhale back to center. Soften a little bit, inhale. Exhale, hinge to the left. Both feet are planted. Maybe squeeze the left hand onto the right and lift and hinge, keeping the right foot planted. Remember to breathe and keep the shoulders soft and the belly lifted. Five seconds here. That's it. And then squeeze the core, 
Inhale, back to center. Look up. And then trace your fingers across the ceiling. Let your collarbones trace briefly across the, across the ceiling. Lift out of the lower back. Exhale through the mouth. Again. One more. Then inhale back up and fold. Fold it with a flat back so you can fold no more. Hands come down to the mat. Pedal it out. Bend one knee. Bend the other. Noticing if things feel different. And then find that deep forward fold. Bending the knees as much as you need to. Letting the torso lengthen and then let the spine lengthen on top of the knees. You can bring your hands behind your calves. You can do ragdoll arms or you can do that traditional cupping of the heels if you want. Try to keep your forearms as much behind your calves as you can. Let the head hang. Shake the head yes and no. Remember to breathe in and out through the nose. You'll be looking between the legs toward the back of the room. Exhale the belly button to the spine. Five more seconds here as you surrender a little bit deeper, maybe lift the hips just a bit more, draw the torso down, and then release the hands. Do that awkward interlace of the fingers, press the feet, inhale, come all the way back up, and release. Arms along the side of the body. <sighs> Sigh, soften the shoulders. Connect to your breath, connect to your feet. Utkatasana. Step the feet hip width apart. Stepping the feet hip width apart, bringing both toes forward. And then the arms forward. You can bring your hands to your heart at any time. If you feel like you're crunching your shoulders or if your arms get tired. Feet are forward. Inhale here. Exhale, you're going to bend your knees, letting the hips come back. Try to keep your knees over the ankles as much as you can. Keep the belly lifted. Find your dristi. Trying to keep the fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders. Or you can bring your hands to your heart. Maybe sit back a little bit more. Five seconds. Good. Press the feet, straighten the legs and then lift up onto the toes. So you're lifting your heels as high as you can. Maybe you stay here. Again, you can bring your hands to your heart if you want, or you can bend your knees. As you bend your knees, the knees come forward and down, and your shoulders stay over your hips. It's a lot of balance here. If you fall out, it's not a big deal. It's just yoga. Maybe lift the heels just a bit more. Good, and then if you bend your knees, straighten them up. Let the heels come down. Last one. Knees in, toes in. Fingertips still in line with the shoulders. You can bring your hands to your heart. If you have uh, delicate knees, bring the knees forward instead of bringing them in toward each other. And then again, the knees are gonna come forward and down while the shoulders stay over the hips. Only go as far as it's comfortable for you. Nobody likes this pose, so it's okay to Remember to soften your shoulders. Breathe in and out through the nose. Five seconds. If you want to go just a little bit deeper, then straighten up and release. <clears throat> relax the shoulders, relax the neck, connect to the feet, maybe wiggle your toes. Sigh, find your breath. Preparing for eagle. Two sets. Inhale, the arms above the head. Right arm comes underneath the left. Sit down into the knees. Right leg comes up and over. Squeeze and breathe here. That's it. Watch your breath. Squeeze the limbs together. The toes can be here on the ground. Keep the standing knee bent as much as you can. Breathing, five seconds. Unwind the legs, unwind the arms. Inhale up, eagle on the left. Left arm comes underneath the right. Sit down into the knees. Left leg comes up and over. Squeeze the core in. Breathe in and out through the nose. Keep the jaw soft. Find your dristi. Use your breath. 
to stay in the moment. Feel the standing foot. Five seconds. Good. Unwind the legs, unwind the arms, moving directly into second set. Here we go. Right arm comes underneath the left. Sit down into the knees. Right leg comes up and over. Squeeze the core, lift the belly, breathe here. Now once you have found your eagle, maybe bring the weight more to the heel, or maybe lift the elbows and fold. Listen to your body today. Have a conversation with your body as you're moving. Maybe try to bring your elbows to the standing knee. If you folded, squeeze your core and work your way back up, shoulders over hips, and then we'll all exhale and unwind. Inhale up. Good, last one. Left arm comes underneath the right. Sit down into the knees. Left leg comes up and over. Squeeze the core, breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe let the weight move more into the heel. Or maybe lift the elbows up. And fold, bringing the elbows toward the knees, rounding through the back. Maybe trying to bring the elbows to the standing knee. Listen to your body. Breathe. If you fold it, slowly work your way back up. And then we'll all unwind. Inhale, the arms up. Big audible exhale. Let that go. All right, get a drink of water if you want real quick. And we'll move to the standing poses. Standing one leg poses. Balance. Connect your feet. Soften your shoulders. Breathe in and out through the nose. Feeling centered and grounded, standing one leg. Left leg stays down, right knee comes up. Maybe move ankle around a bit. Right here is the baseline pose. You can stay right here. Or maybe you want to try straightening the leg or bringing the arms above the head. Or maybe doing the traditional rounding, trying to keep the leg parallel to the earth, 90 degrees in the knee, breathe. And then if you moved farther, working backwards through the steps, work your way back to the baseline pose and release. Connect both feet, connect to your breath. Right foot stays down, left knee comes up. Maybe move the ankle around a little bit. Stay here. Yummy yoga magic is happening right here and it takes a lot of effort. Or whatever you did on the right side, maybe try doing that on the left. Take your time. Use your breath. Communicate with your body. That's it. If you moved farther, whatever you did, slowly work your way back, shoulders over hips. Nice. And release, big toes to touch. <sighs> Second set, you do whatever you want to do. You can stay in the baseline pose. You can lift the arms, straighten the leg, whatever you wanna do, play with it. I am going to treat it, uh, cue the straightening the leg part. Um, the traditional part. Here we go. Left foot stays down, right knee comes up. You can stay right here, or maybe if you want to move farther, maybe round through the back, bringing the hands underneath the foot. You can stay right here with the knee bent at 90 degrees and the hip at 90 degrees, or maybe you try straightening the leg. If you can do that, maybe bend your elbows 
So your forearms are in line with your calf. Then wherever you are, slowly work your way back. Slowly working your way back, shoulders over hips. And release. Let that go. Right foot stays down, left foot comes up. Stand in one leg. And whatever you did on the right side, as long as there isn't an injury on one side and not the other, do that here on the left side. Maybe doing the traditional rounding, staying in the baseline pose. That takes a lot of effort. Maybe trying to straighten the leg. If you do, bending the elbows so they're in line with the calves. Breathe. And then slowly work your way backwards through the steps. Shoulders over hips. And release. That's it. Let that go. Feel that pose swirling in the body and then melt down through the body, creating space for standing bow. Here we go. Swim the right arm back. Swim the right arm back. Soft part of the arm is out. Capture the inside of the foot. Draw the knees toward each other. If you can't reach it, just reach back like this. That's totally fine. Or you can get a strap so you can connect that space between your foot and your hand. Left hand can be the heart, the hip, a wall or a chair or up to the sky. And you can change that out. Here we go. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, kick your foot into the hand. Knees are next to each other, right there. Right there's the pose. If you want to move farther, you can, kicking the knee back. You do not have to. Breathe. 10 seconds here. You can have a little bend in the standing knee if you want. Find your Dristi, five seconds. Good. Slowly bring the knee back. Release the foot. Other side. Swim the left arm back. Swim the left arm back. Capture the inside of the left foot and draw the knees toward each other, see? So they're in line. And then find your right arm position. Remember, the soft part is facing out, so if you bend your elbow, it goes in toward the back. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, kick the foot into the hand. Right there's the pose. And breathe. Feel the openness in the front of the body. If you want to kick the left knee back, you can, but keep the heart lifted. Keep your eyes focused on your drishti. Try to keep the shoulders soft, anything that's tensing up. Try to soften that. 10 seconds. Five. And slowly work the knees back if you moved them. And release. Take a moment to connect to your feet. Sigh, let something go. Soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Second set. Swim the right arm back. Capture the inside of the foot or use a strap. Draw the knees together. Find your left arm position. Find your dristi. Find your breath. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, kick. Kicking. The knee doesn't have to move. And then from there, if you want to kick the knee back, you can. You do not have to. Try to keep the knee in line with the hip. Soften the jaw, find your breath. Be five, 10 seconds. Be five, five. Slowly work your way back and release. One more side. Swing the left arm back. Capture the inside of the left foot and draw the knees together. Find your right arm position. Inhale, lift. Exhale, kick the foot into the hand. And breathe here. Lifting the heart. Be five. Be 
Juba, mes yeux de aussi. Ani sevens. Five. Slowly work your way back if you moved your knee. And release. Big toes to touch. One more balancing pose. Balancing stick. Big toes to touch. Here we go. Inhale, the arms above the head. You're going to do that steeple grip again. Here we go. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Let all the weight move into the right foot. Lift the left leg. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you want to go a little bit deeper. If you want to change your arm position as you do this, you can. Try to keep the hips equal. That means bringing the left hip down. Lifting from the inner thigh of the left leg. Breathe. Only go as far as it's comfortable. Focus on lifting the back leg. Then step the left foot back. Step the right foot back. Find the opposite interlace of the fingers. Lift. Step the left foot forward. Let the weight move into the left foot. Maybe this is your pose. Maybe you lift the toes and play with hinging a bit. Remember, it's the hinging of the leg and trying to keep the hips equal. Finding your arm position. Breathe. Keep lifting from the inner thigh of the right leg. One more breath. And then step back with the right foot. Step back with the left foot. And release. Take an inhale. Big exhale. Get a quick drink of water if you want. And then we'll move to the wide leg poses. These are going to be done a little bit differently to be more efficient. So big toes to touch. Feel how nice it is to have both feet on the earth. Let the shoulders soften. Connect your breath. Preparing for a wide leg fold. Inhale, the arms above the head. Exhale, step wide. Try to get ankles under wrists if you can and toes forward. Then inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, fold, fold, fold. Bringing the hands to the earth, you can bend your knees to help access the pose if you want. You put a little bit less strain on the back or in the hips. Let the heel lift just a little bit so the weight is in the ball of the foot. Let the inner thighs roll back. Breathe in and out through the nose. Draw your heart between your legs. Five seconds. Good. Then squeeze the core. You can bring your hands to your hips. That's less weight on the back, or you can bring your arms parallel. Inhale, come up. This is the change. Moving into warrior two on the right. Turn the right foot forward, bend the right knee. Anchoring the knife edge of the left foot. Keep this knee in the center of the foot. Reach, like you're trying to grab a glass off of a table, and then bring the arms to six and 12. You can rest this right forearm on the thigh, or you can bring it in front, draw the shoulder blades together, open the heart, press the inner right hip forward, lift the lower belly. Breathe, five seconds, feel the knife edge of the back foot. Good, now squeeze your core, try to keep the legs exactly as they are, moving back up to warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Then straighten the right leg, turn the right foot, so now it's parallel to this small side of the mat, Turn the left foot and bend the left knee. Finding warrior two here on the left. Ankles under wrists if you can, if you need to shorten the stance, that's absolutely fine. It's the intention of the shape of the pose. Here we go. Pressing this back foot as you reach to grab something off that table until you stop, then bring the arms to six and 12. You can rest your forearm on this thigh if you want, 
or you can bring it in front. Remember to breathe here. Pressing the left inner hip forward, rotate the rib cage up, keep the shoulders soft, arm bones in the shoulder sockets. Five seconds, feel the knife edge, press into the back foot, the right foot. Here we go. Try to keep the legs as they are. Inhale, back up, warrior two. Straighten the left leg, turn the left foot, going back to the front of the mat. Inhale, big toes to touch. Exhale, release. Let the shoulders soften a bit, soften the jaw. Let that drain into the feet. Maybe sigh. <sighs> Let something go. All right, second set. Inhale, the arms above the head. Exhale, step wide. Arms parallel, ankles under wrists. Preparing for our second wide leg forward fold. Option to interlace the hands behind the back. Draw the fist out, open the heart, and then fold, letting the heart guide you. As you fold, you do not have to do this chest opener if you don't want to do it. You can release your hands down to the earth whenever you're ready. Remember to lift the heels slightly away from the mat. Release your hands down to the earth if you still have the chest opener, and draw your heart between your legs. Five more seconds here. Then arms parallel or hands to the hips. Inhale, come back up. Warrior two to the right. Turn the right foot, bend the right knee, pressing the knife edge of the left foot to the earth. So both feet are planted as you reach and bring the forearm on top of the thigh or in front of the thigh. Option to do a bind here if you want. You can turn your palm like you're going to press it against a wall behind you. Press the wall, bend the elbow, bring the back of the hand to the lower back, or bring it around to the opposite hip crease. Commit to this front knee. Keep the heart open. Five seconds. If you found that bind, let your left arm come back up to the sky. Try to keep the legs as they are. Inhale, back up. Warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Turn the right foot, knife edge of the left foot now pressing in, or to the right foot of pressing into the earth. Turn the left foot, bend the left knee, feeling the arches lift, both feet planted, reach, and bring the arms to six and 12. Pressing the inner thigh forward, lifting the heart, both feet planted, and then if you want, pretend like you're gonna press your hand against a wall and then bring it around to the lower back or to the opposite hip crease, finding that half bind if you want it. Remember to breathe. Breathing's really important. You got it, five seconds. Release your right arm back up to the sky if you did a bind. Try to keep this left knee where it is. Inhale, back up, warrior two. Straighten the left leg, turn the left foot, Inhale, big toes to touch. Big exhale. That's it, let that go. Preparing for separate leg floor head to knee. Feet are connected, find your breath, find your dristi, only one set of this. Inhale, the arms above the head. Palms together, you can cross your thumbs if you want. Take a step to the side and then turn. Right foot forward, left foot back if you can. Left foot is out to 45 degrees as the right foot is forward. Here we go. Lift up the heart, chin to the chest, round. Bend the right knee as much as you need to as you reach with your hands down, drawing the nose toward the knee, pulling back on the right hip. Scissor the legs, keep the back foot planted. Breathe in and out through the nose. Hopefully feeling a stretch in the right hamstring. Five seconds. Then palms together, scissor the legs. Uncurl as you bring your shoulders back up over the hips. Turn to the left, turn to the left. Now the left foot is forward. The right foot is back in at 45 degrees, opposite cross of the thumb. Inhale, chin to the chest and round, bending the left knee as much as you need to as you round round, round, bringing your hands to the mat. 
nose toward the knee, and breathe in here. Keep pressing the right foot into the earth, pulling back on the left hip, hopefully feeling a stretch in the left hamstring as you draw your nose to your knee. Five seconds. And then palms together, scissor the legs, uncurl. Turn to the right, big toes to touch. Exhale. Nice. Get a quick drink of water before we move into tree. Here we go. Shoulders soften, feet connect. Find something in front of you to focus on, your drishti. Find your breath, connect to your feet, soften the shoulders, lift the lower belly. Left foot stays down, right foot comes up to either a little kickstand here, bringing the knee out, it's a hip opener, or to the inner calf. Don't put your foot on the knee, the knee doesn't bend side to side, it only bends forward and back, or coming to the inner thigh, or the opposite hip crease. But you can hold your foot if you want. And then bring your hands or hand to your heart and breathe here. Press the standing foot into the earth. Breathe in and out through the nose. Soften the gaze and go inward as you follow your breath. Five seconds. Gently release that foot, bringing big toes to touch. Activate the right leg as the left foot comes up. And whatever you did on the right side, if you can, do that on the left. And breathe. Keep the shoulders soft. Keep the belly lifted. Have active standing legs. Tongue relaxed to the roof of the mouth. Soften the gaze and watch your breath move in and out. Ten seconds here. Five. And gently release. Big toes to touch. One more set. Options to play a little bit more. Keep the left foot down and active as the right foot comes up. Finding your version of tree. You can do the same thing you did before, or maybe you want to do something different. Pressing foot into leg, leg into foot, but not on the knee. And then from here, if you'd like to move farther, maybe bringing your arms above your head. Maybe find something in front of you to focus on and then close your eyes as you imagine that in your mind's eye. You may wobble a little bit. That's okay. Breathe here for these last 10 seconds. Five. Slowly working your way back to the baseline pose. Big toes to touch. Right leg activates as the left foot comes up. And whatever you did on the right, try to do that here on the left. Find your baseline pose. And then from there, maybe grow your branches. Maybe do something else. Again, maybe find something in front of you to focus on. And then close your eyes and picture that in your mind to help with the balance. If you fall out, it's not a big deal. If you wobble, that's okay. That's your brain communicating with your foot. 10 seconds. Slowly bring your hands back to your heart as you grew your branches, coming back to the baseline pose, and then release, big toes to touch. Good, take an inhale, big exhale. And close the standing portion of your practice, however you wish, 
And then we're gonna come down onto our mat for a brief little mini savasana. And then we'll move to the floor poses. Yeah, perfect. Get a drink of water if you want. And then we'll meet on the floor on our backs. That's it. All right. And as you lie here, giving your body a reset, yeah? Let the whole body relax. Take a big inhale. Big exhale. Another big inhale. Big exhale. Ujjayi breath comes back. Ujjayi breath. Let the head be heavy. Let the shoulders be heavy. And wiggle fingers and toes. We're preparing for wind removing pose. Bring the right knee into the chest. Interlace the fingers on top of the shin. As you draw the knee in toward the shoulder, the left leg gently presses into the earth. Feeling pressure in the right hip crease. You can move your ankle around, getting all the kicks and crackles out. Try to keep the head heavy. Use your breath. Five seconds here. Then release the right leg long and bring the left knee in. Interlacing the fingers the opposite way. If you can remember, if you can't, that's okay. Drawing the knee in toward the shoulder. Maybe move the ankle around a bit. Right leg gently presses into the earth, shoulder soft, head heavy. Ujjayi breath is still happening as you feel pressure in the left hip crease. Breathing in and out through the nose. Five seconds. And then release the left leg down. And bring both knees into the chest. Squeezing both knees in, maybe you just place one hand on top of each shin. Maybe you can grab opposite wrists, maybe forearms. Maybe you can bring your hands all the way to opposite elbows. Listen to your body. And then feel the lower back opening up. Still breathing in and out through the nose. You can stay here if this feels good. If you'd like to move into happy baby, now is your chance bringing the knees out wide and then putting footprints on the ceiling so the knees are at 90 degrees. You can also grab your ankles or put your arm forms behind your thighs. The idea is to try to lengthen the spine down onto the mat. Breathe in and out through the nose. That's it. Five seconds. And then release, letting both legs come long. Brief mini savasana here. <sighs> In a minute, I'm gonna cue yogi sit up. You can modify yogi sit up by bending your knees and doing the sit up or bringing the knees into the chest and rocking and rolling up. Or maybe rolling onto your side Either way, we're gonna end up on our bellies. So here we go. Yogi sit up. Inhale the arms above the head. Flex the feet. Exhale, sit up. Exhale, touch the toes. Or any version of that you want, and we will come onto our belly for half cobra. So our palms are next to our ribs. The tops of our feet are pressing down into the earth so much of the knees lift up, nose to the mat. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, just lift the torso up. Little to no weight in the hands. It's a small movement. And be looking kind of down and forward so the back of the neck is long. Breathe. One more breath. And then exhale, come down. Look to the right. 
Let your arm relax along the side of the body. If you feel some tightness here in your lower back, you can bend your knees and windshield wiper the feet side to side. Good. Then bring the feet down. If you did the windshield wiper thing, bring your nose to the mat. We're gonna move into locus, traditional locus for the hot series. So bring the palms down. And maybe this is where you're staying, nose to the mat. If it's comfortable, bring the arms underneath the body, palms down. If you decide this hurts your elbows or your wrists, bring the arms back up. Do not let your nose lift away from the mat. Press the hip bones down into the earth or your forearms, and then lift the right leg up, long and straight. It may not come up very high, that's okay. Breathe. Exhale, come down. Lift the left leg up. Keep pressing both hip bones down. Keep the nose to the mat. Breathe. Exhale, come down. If you have your arms underneath your body, bring your hands a little bit closer together and bring your fingertips closer to the knees. Exhale. Remember, don't look side to side as you do this. And then inhale, lift both legs up. Maybe they come up just a little bit. Maybe they can come up more. Breathe. Exhale, come down. If you have your arms underneath your body, take the arms out, bend the elbows a bit, move the wrists a bit, and then look to the left. Let your arms relax along the side of the body. <sighs> Again, you can bend the knees and sway the feet side to side in tandem or they can crisscross. Preparing for full locus. Bring your nose to the mat. Options here. You can bring the arms out wide, like an airplane, or you can bend them at the elbows like a cactus, or you can interlace them behind your back. This is called half locus. Exhale. Squeeze the core, inhale, lift the torso. Lift the arms to whatever's comfortable. Lift the legs, if it's comfortable. You do not have to lift the legs. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears. Squeeze the core. One more breath. Exhale, come down. Look to the right, relax the arms. <sighs> Sigh, let something go. One more belly pose for both. Bring your chin to the mat. You're going to bend your knees and capture the outsides of your ankles or your feet. Now, if you can't reach your feet, reach back with your hands, or you can use a strap, or you can do another set of that full locus. So here we go. Ha, uh, floor bow, draw the knees together, exhale, kick the feet into the hands and open up the heart, opening it forward. Now maybe this is where you stay. If you don't have any lower back problems, if your back isn't sensitive, you can lift the thighs up and go a little bit deeper into this floor bow. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath, and then we will all release whatever we're doing Look to the left. Last chance to bend the knees and windshield wiper the feet side to side. Good. Then bring your chin to the mat. Place your palms on the mat and push yourself back into a child's pose to let the back open up. The closer your knees are together, the more it's going to get into your back. If you'd rather do a cat cow or down dog or something else, you're welcome to do that. Or you can do all three if you want. Cat cow, down dog. And then when you're ready, find a resting. Nope, we're not finding a resting pose yet. We're moving into fixed firm pose. A fixed firm pose can be a little tricky. So, did I kick my block out of the way? 
don't know where I put it. So we're going to bring our knees together and let the heel, uh, the calves come outside of the thighs, heels wide. Now this might be really uncomfortable. If it is, you're going to take a block and place it underneath your hips here. And that's going to give you some height. Or if you have really sensitive knees, just bring the soles of the feet together and work your way back this way. All right? <clears throat> so everybody find your position. <laughs> and then here we go. You can stay right here. Or maybe you bring your hands behind you. Fingers pointing toward the toes. You can let the head hang or hold it, whichever feels better. Maybe you bend the elbows and come down a little bit more. If you're on a block, I wouldn't go any farther than this. Or maybe come down to the forearms. You can let the head hang or hold it up. I'm going to tell you when we're halfway there, and then I'm going to come all the way down to my shoulder blades. If you want to go down to your shoulder blades now, you can. If you don't have a block, you can use pillows or folded up blankets to put underneath your hips to give you that comfort on your knees and your hips if you want. That's halfway, so slowly if you want to, work your way back down onto your shoulder blades and bring the arms above the head. You can always come out of this pose early if you want. Try to draw the tailbone toward the feet, or toward the knees, I'm sorry, toward the knees. Just breathe here, we've got about 10 more seconds. <sighs> Sigh. Now don't move. You're going to work your way out, but don't let your head jerk up. Instead, let your head hang and use your arms and your legs and your core to work your way up. Let your head come up last, and then you can stretch out your legs if you want after all of that compression in your knees. You can find a down dog to help stretch out the knees and the back. And then we're gonna find a brief resting pose. So you come down to your knees for a child's pose, or you can come onto your back for a savasana, or you can stay seated, you can stay in that down dog. You're gonna take a couple breaths here in this resting pose. If you are on your back, only if you are on your back, preparing for yogi siddha. Inhale the arms above the head, flex the feet, double exhale. And we'll come to seated on our knees for half tortoise. And again, if you have delicate knees, you can stay on top of your knees with like some padding underneath, standing on the knees instead of all the way down. Here we go. Inhale the arms above the head, palms together, Cross the thumbs, squeeze the core, and then reach back with the hips as you reach long with the spine forward, letting the knife edge of the hands come to the mat. Let your forehead come to the mat or to a block or a pillow or a blanket. You're reaching back with the hips. Even if you were standing on your knees before, reach back with the hips, bending the knees as much as you can. With each exhale, bring the belly button to the spine. With each inhale, Expand the ribs. Do a couple more breaths like that. Try to keep the elbows lifted. One more. And then use your core, use your legs. Slowly let the torso come back up, shoulders over hips, and then release the arms. And find a resting pose if you want. And just stay seated if you want. Then come onto your back for Svasana. Whatever you want, child's pose. Find your breath. Feel the earth beneath you. If you're on your back, yogi sit up. Inhale the arms above the head. Flex the feet. Double exhale. 
coming to standing on the knees for camel. All right, standing on the knees, swim an arm back. The fingertips can be up the lower back or down the back hip pockets. It's up to you, whatever feels better for your wrists. Good, and then roll the shoulders back. Lift through the heart. So you're lifting out of the lower back and then let your gaze move to where the wall and the ceiling meet. And then let your gaze move across the ceiling, lifting the heart up. The toes can be flat or you can tuck them under. And then if you want to release heat and release negativity from your heart, exhale from the mouth. Again. One more. Then slowly bring your shoulders back up over your hips. And then come to seated on the knees or find a child's pose. <coughs> seated on the knees or child's pose. And just breathe here for a moment. Good. If you're in child pose, work your way back up to seated. We're going to move into rabbit. So you're gonna bring your fingertips to your heels. Lift through the heart. Again, if you have sensitive knees, you can be standing on the knees to get into this pose. And you're gonna bring your chin to your chest and round. Grabbing the heels if you can. And then chin to the chest. Lift the hips, bend the elbows as you pull your forehead towards your knees. Try not to let your head touch the mat. Keep lifting from the lower belly, pulling and rounding. Breathe. Breathe. Then slowly let the hips come back down. Uncurl the spine. And find a resting pose. Child's pose, Savasana. Seated, down dog, whatever you want. And then, if you're on your back preparing for yogi sit up, inhale the arms above the head, flex the feet, double exhale. We'll all meet seated with our legs long in front preparing for our folds. So you're going to bring the right leg long, left foot comes inside the right leg. Try it, you can move the flesh from the sit bones if you want. Inhale the arms up, interlace the fingers, turn toward the right leg, and fold. Interlaced fingers underneath the foot, nose toward the knee. Try to keep pressing the left hip down and try to keep the shoulders equal. As you draw your nose to the knee, chin to the chest, you can bend the knee as much as you need to. Ten more seconds here. Five. And squeeze the core and inhale, come back up and switch it out, bringing the left leg long, right foot inside the left leg. Inhale up, opposite interlace of the fingers, turn toward the left leg and fold, trying to keep the shoulders parallel to the earth, bending the knee as much as you need to to get here. Draw the nose to the knee, keep pressing the right hip down and breathe. Feeling in and out through the nose. One more breath. Good, then slowly work your way back up. Bring both legs long in front, preparing for a traditional forward fold. Inhale the arms up, squeeze the core, fold, reaching back with the sit bones. You can keep the legs straight or you can bend them. What feels good today? Grabbing what you can, maybe that means ankles or behind the knees, and then breathe here. You can keep the back straight. You can round the back, just play around with it. See where it feels good. And then breathe in and out through the nose. So we're gonna do just a little bit deeper, five more seconds. And then inhale, come up. We're going to move into seated twist. 
You're going to bring your right foot outside of your left leg. This left leg can stay long. Bring your right hand behind you. Lift out of the lower back, trying to keep the spine straight and then twisting through the rib cage, trying to keep it out of the lower back. Maybe looking behind you if that's comfortable for your neck. You can definitely look behind you with your eyes. Breathing in and out through the nose. Five seconds. Squeeze the core, inhale back to center. You can counter twist in the other direction if you want. And then switch out the legs. Bringing the left foot outside of the right leg. Again, feeling both sit bones equal on the earth. Bringing the left arm back, lifting up, twisting. Lifting through the spine, twisting, maybe looking behind you with your head if it's comfortable for your neck. Looking behind with your eyes, a little bit of eye yoga. Breathe in and out through the nose. Five seconds. Good, inhale back to center. Counter twist in the other direction if you want. And then find a seated position. Any seated position you want. And we're going to do our last breathing exercise. It's a breathing exercise to help bring your nervous system down to rest and digest even more. So find a nice tall spine, any seated position you want as long as you're comfortable. You can place some blocks or blankets under your hips if you want. And we're going to breathe in and out through the nose. Four counts in, six counts out. So exhale, empty the lungs, get ready. Inhale through the nose. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hold. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Five, six, hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, notice if you're clenching your shoulders. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then release any control of your breath. Breathe naturally. Remember your intention that you set at the beginning of class. And then close your practice however you wish. And then get a drink of water, get blankets, bolsters, eye pillows, pillows, whatever you want so that you can have a nice and comfy savasana. So go get your props and whatever you want and then we will all meet on our backs. In Savasana. Start fishing out the arms and legs as much as it's comfortable. Wiggling a little bit, letting the shoulders become heavy. Maybe rocking the head side to side. Doing everything you can to get all the wiggles out and find some stillness here. Natural breath. Soften the forehead. Let the eyelids become heavy. Let the jaw soften. Let the tongue relax in the mouth. the arms and legs be heavy. Let the shoulders, shoulder blades and rib cage soften and be heavy. And let the spine 
release all the way down to the hips and the hips heavy. The whole body heavy and relaxed on the mat. As you soak in this intention that you created, this healing. And just be here for a few moments as you soak it in. you want a longer savasana, you're welcome to just stop the video now and surrender for as long as you will. Otherwise, gently begin to bring your awareness back into the room. Gently begin to bring your awareness back to the body. then gently begin to wake up the body. Maybe wiggling fingers and toes. Maybe rocking the head side to side. And then when you're ready, bring your arms above your head and give yourself a nice good morning stretch. Just noticing how open and long the body feels. and then place one foot on the earth and then the other. And roll to one side using your arm as a cushion for your head. And just be here, savoring these last moments. And then gently push yourself up to a seated position and we'll take a couple breaths together finish the class. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you find joy. May you find peace. May you be free from suffering. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you next time on the map.